You can get this product and so much more at www.safariltd.com. And don't forget to use the coupon code SPINODUDE, that's S-P-I-N-O-D-U-D-E, to get 20% off your next order. All links are down below in the description. Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new for 2020 Safari LTD, Chiantsosaurus. Alright, so here is the new for 2020 Safari LTD, Chiantsosaurus in hand. I have to say, when the promo images first came out for this guy, I wasn't too thrilled. It looked like it had a nice gray style pose, but the sculpt and the coloration looked a little bit strange to me right off the bat. And I think it's mostly because in the promo images the, the coloration was just kind of disappointing in coloration to the rest of the figures. And here's the thing, the coloration was not an objective problem. It was a subjective thing because there were a lot more interesting color schemes and I just felt like I overlooked this one. But my goodness, in hand the coloration is so much better it's so much more saturated and vibrant and it's just much more interesting overall now even if this figure was just tan with brown stripes or whatever i couldn't be mad because it's a natural coloration but i just think this coloration is much more interesting while still maintaining that very naturalistic feel there's some hints of bright orange color on the midsection there and down the the side of the tail as well as the hands and feet and i love the feet especially in that orange color it really cements how bird-like the feet are they look almost like goose feet and i love it and one thing i want to address too right off the bat is it's just it's so nice having a new really gracile non-tripod theropod figure from safari ltd and i think chiantsosaurus nicknamed the Pinocchio Rex, for obvious reasons, was a great choice for them to replicate. And I actually see some people complaining, why do they pick Chiantsosaurus instead of Alioramus? I would have preferred an Alioramus. Well, it's actually still kind of being debated if Chiantsosaurus was synonymous with Alioramus. So if it turns out to be synonymous, then this right here is your Alioramus figure. Since Alioramus was named first, then the name Chiantsosaurus would be thrown out the window most likely, but anyway. There's even a slight hint of a green gradient on the back of the animal. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but it's just, it's very nice. Just a little hint of vibrancy in the colors, and plus these dark reddish brown stripes are just lovely going down the back as well. Still not my favorite color scheme that Safari LTD has done, but it's just a big improvement and a very nice surprise over the promo images in my personal opinion. Now the detail on this figure is quite lovely with some little tiny tiny scales you don't really get to appreciate the detail unless you're holding this figure in hand it has very nice tiny scales which are very similar in comparison to the safari ltd shringosaurus and the tylosaurus from 2017. i know some people aren't as big fans of this style of detail because it is quite small and this figure is quite smoother than other figurines but I just think visually it looks quite naturalistic and the little hints of detail here and there are very realistic and just very nice overall. The overall proportioning of this Chiantsosaurus as well is just very, very nice to see. I love that the feet are not oversized, they are a very reasonable size there, and this figure is not awkwardly posed whatsoever. From the front, this foot looks a little bit strange, it was obviously positioned a little more this way so this figure could actually balance. But it's really not that bad. From most angles, you're not going to be able to tell that it's bent slightly to the side. It just looks like it's in a nice striding pose. And I really hope we get to see more figures like this in the future because it's absolutely wonderful. Now another thing that people were kind of complaining about with this figure is a lack of feathers. Here's the thing, I don't want to start like a, a flame war in the comments or anything. But there is no direct evidence of Chiantsosaurus having feathers. Same with Tyrannosaurus Rex and a bunch of other Tyrannosaurs. If this figure had feathers, I'd be perfectly fine with it. I could see it going either way. But the sculptor chose to portray this figure without feathers. I'm perfectly fine with that. It's a well-proportioned, very natural-looking Tyrannosaur figure, and I cannot complain at that. And let's also zoom in on the head here quickly to take a look at this. The head is where my biggest gripe with this figure comes in. And you can really see that this Chancesaurus looks like it doesn't have any teeth from the side. And that's not because there is a presence of lips on this figure. This is another thing, just like the feathering on this figure. I am not for lips, I am not against lips. I could see it going either way. There's perfectly valid reasons for them having them, but I also see great points for them not having them as well. And the sculptor chose to incorporate lips on this Chancesaurus, and 
I think the lips are fine. My gripe is the size of the teeth. They are shaved down so much that they're basically not even present on the overall sculpt. They're basically just white dots on the interior of the mouth. And I'm going to assume that this was a choice by Safari during the production process to reduce the amount of sharp surfaces for this figure so children won't hurt themselves while playing with it. But it is kind of a shame because the skull is so good. It looks just like Chiansaurus, but the teeth are just barely visible and it looks like it is toothless unless you tilt it to the side and there is you can definitely feel the teeth on the top here but you can barely feel any teeth on the bottom jaw which is a shame but anyway the detail on the interior of the mouth is lovely though now i love the blue eye and i'm, I'm really happy safari decided to do another figure with a blue eye the only other figure that comes to mind right now is the regali ceratops from 2018 and i absolutely loved the choice for having a bright blue eye on it and i think the cool blue color contrasts very nicely with the warmer yellow colors on this Chiantosaurus figure. But anyway, I think that pretty much covers everything I have to say about this figure. It is a lovely Gracile Theropod figure. 100% recommend it. My only big complaint is the somewhat lack of sculpted teeth in the mouth, but I assume that was a choice through the production process, which is a shame for the appearance of the animal, but I could definitely see that happening. But anyway, this figure measures up to about 9 inches long, which is about... 22 centimeters and in terms of the height the highest point which is the top of the head we are looking at about three and a half inches which is about nine centimeters and for a quick comparison here is the chiantosaurus next to safari's 2019 allosaurus and here's our consistent size comparison with bernie the gator i think these two recent theropod figures from safari look really nice next to each other especially they both have very nice active poses and actually have them displayed next to each other on the shelf they complement each other very nicely but anyway guys that's going to do it for my review of the 2020 safari ltd chiantosaurus let me know what you think of this one down below i think it is a lovely figure one of my favorites without question for the 2020 range and I hope Safari does more Gracile Theropod figures like this in the future. If you want to get one for yourself, make sure to use coupon code SPINADU to save 20% on your next order. So leave a like if you liked, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care, and bye bye